Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. Today I want to speak about sexual sin. It's a topic that that is a lot of people try to shy away from, but I want to just tackle it head on today. Because this is what's going it's so accepted today in um it's so accepted in today's society. And no one seems to think nothing wrong with it. Now, a lot of y'all may know some of the sexual sin in the Bible. But to those that don't, this is for you guys. Now, the first sexual sin I want to touch on today is, is adultery. And for those who don't know what adultery is, adultery is when two people are married and they go outside their relationship to have sex with someone else, that is adultery. That can lead you into hell for those who don't know. And also, not only having sex with someone else, but also looking at someone in a lustful way. So if you out and about, even at a grocery store, gas station, and you see someone that's appealing to you, and you look at them in a lustful way, that is sinning. You just committed sin, even if you look at someone in a lustful way. So I'm just bringing awareness to anyone that may not know that, that looking at someone in a lustful way is a sin, and being married and having sex with someone else is also a sin. Secondly, I want to talk about fornication. Fornication is so common these days that the world don't see anything wrong with it. For those who don't know, fornication is when you, when two people come together to have sex and they not marry. That is fornication. It's so common these days that the world don't see anything wrong with it because it's, it's just so common. So for those who don't know, having sex Without being married is a sin. So I urge anyone who commit these sins to confess their sin to our Lord Jesus Christ and ask Him to forgive you and turn away from that sin. You can't confess your sin and continue to stay in that sin. You have to confess your sin and God will deliver you from that sin and He will forgive you for any sin. So I'm just letting you know, just confess your sin and ask God to forgive you and repent and don't try to commit that sin again. And the Lord will forgive you. I also want to touch on um, also want to touch on masturbation. A lot of people it's so, like I said, it's so common, the world don't see anything wrong with it, but even if you're masturbating that is a sin. And masturbation can lead you in a hell, whether you're a woman or a man, or either you're doing it together or by yourself, it don't matter. Masturbation is definitely a sin for those who don't know. And it also can lead you into hell also. So let me just say that once again, masturbating can lead you into hell. It is a sin. Like I said, confess your sin, turn away from that sin, and the Lord will forgive you. Also, I want to talk about pornographic. Looking up porno. Pornography. If you're the type of person that engaging in pornography, or you just searching the web for pornography, that's also is a sin. And you will go to hell for that too. So I'm just letting you know, for the people who don't know, if you're looking up porn, or you're even engaging in porn, that is a sin. 
But if you engage in porn, that goes back to having sex, you know, without being married and all this other stuff. But if you were looking up pornographic material, whether it's pictures or videos, you can go to hell for that. So I urge you to turn away from all these sins I just named. And I also want to mention, last but not least, I want to mention homosexuality. I want to mention that too. Some people think engaging in homosexuality is not a sin. But I'm here to tell you it is a sin. And not only is it a sin, it's an abomination. So if two men are together and engaging in sexual act, that is a sin. If two women are together engaging in sexual act, that is a sin. I'm just letting you know. These are not my words. These are in the Bible. Don't ever take my word for anything I say. Look it up in the Bible for yourself. It's in the Bible. I would urge anybody to look anything someone talk to you about the Bible, look it up for yourself. So you can see for yourself. You all want to know for yourself the sin that you are committing. And God can deliver you from anything. But yes, engaging in homosexuality activity is a sin. God made men, God made women. I know people feel like they was born that way, but trust and believe me, you are not born that way. That is a lie from the pits of hell. That is a lie from the devil. Because the devil wants to see you go to hell. And he plants that thought in your mind. That is a homosexual spirit that's on you. This is not this is not my words. These are these are God words. God wouldn't make you a homosexual. I know it's big debate about that, but it's true. I'm just letting you know. If you are a man and you're sleeping with a man, that is a sin. If you are a woman and you're sleeping with another woman, that is a sin. And if you are a man marrying a man, God don't honor that marriage. But the world do. If you are a woman and you married a woman, God don't honor that marriage either. But the world do. I'm only the messenger and I'm coming to you guys from love, not hate. It's only correction. I'm only warning you guys. Because you don't want to be one of those people that say, hey, this, that, you know, he's lying. Just look it up for yourself. Do your own research. Look in the Bible. God is against this. God is against homosexuality. He's against it. He's against homosexuality. He's against adultery. People being married and sleeping with someone else or looking at someone in a lustful way. He's against fornication, people staying together or not just staying together and having sex with someone without being married or even masturbation or looking up pornographic material. God is against all of that. I'm only trying to correct you. I'm not coming from no hate at all. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I want to see everybody go to heaven. I want to see everybody turn to God and accept him and go to heaven and be with him for eternity. I don't want to see no one go to hell because they did not know that the sins that they're committing is, is, is against uh, the Bible. They go against God's rules. And not only sexual sin, but all sin in God's eyes. God do not approve of it. He hates sin. We can't be near him when we're sinning. Not just sexual sin, but today I'm just talking about sexual sin. But I will touch on a lot of other things that God do not approve of that could be a sin. Videos are coming soon, but I'm just but today I'm just talking about sexual sin. That's all. And for those who don't know, now you know if you've seen this video. And if you do know, then please try to try your best to turn away from the sin and confess your sin and try not to do them sin no more because it's very important that we make it to the kingdom of heaven.